It's beautiful. I'm glad I could show you this, Richard. Would be a shame to come all the way from the capital and miss it. You wanted nothing more than to show me this? Yep. Pretty impressive, huh? You're really something. There you are, your highness. Bryce! Your highness? Wait, you're Prince Richard, the son of our king? The guards are quite frantically searching for you, my prince. I am most disappointed that you put them through such agony. Well, I apologize for the trouble, Bryce. No apology required. In fact, this makes things much easier for me. I thought today's lesson was over. This is no lesson, boy. This is a duel to the death. To poor Richard's death, in fact. What? There are no guards to help you here, my prince. Your life is mine. No! Richard, get back! If we fight hard, we can take it! <laughs> <laughs> No escape! You'll pay! I'll make you pay! You're amazing, Sophie! Where'd you learn that? Where? I wonder... Okay then, have you had enough? Where's Richard? Richard, be careful! The cliff! The cliff? What's going on? What's this warm light all around me? What happened? Huh? Wait, we fell off the cliff! Sophie, are you okay? Uh, are you hurt? I'm fine. Oh, thank goodness. What about Richard? Is Richard okay too? Richard! He wasn't hurt. Oh, really? Okay, good. That's good. You look happy, Asbel. Why are you happy? I'm happy because you and Richard are alive. Because we're alive. <gasps> oh. Where? We fell off the cliff. I think the sun went down while we were knocked out. Are you okay, Richard? Nothing broken or anything?
No, I think I'm fine. I can't believe we fell off a cliff and no one got hurt. Your name is Asbel, yes? I... I owe you my life. Please, take this. Why are you giving me your ring? I owe you a great debt. This is the least I can do. No way, no, I won't take it. But I didn't save you for money or power or because you're some dumb prince. I, I did it for... Oh, never mind. I didn't mean to insult you. Forgive me. We should go back, Asbel. Yeah, we should. But, um, I'm not really sure how. I guess we just have to climb. Sophie? Richard? I think it's time for a little hike. If monsters come, we fight together. That's the only way we'll beat them. I yes, of course. All right, let's go. Hey. Um, Richard? You seem reserved. This is very unlike you. Why would Bryce try to assassinate you? I can think of several reasons, but none that are worth sharing. But, but why not? I fought him off, you know. You can trust me. I'm sorry, but it's more complicated than that. What's wrong? You're making your angry face again, Asbel. I'm not angry. I'm just frustrated. Hostiles! <laughs> 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 Pathetic. Why even bother? Even sure you could call this a close call. I'm not even sure you could call this a that was impressive, Asbel. What made this nest? Probably a bird of some sort. No, it wasn't a bird. What was it again? If Hubert was here, he'd know for sure. Hubert is your brother? Yeah, and he's super smart. He's always reading books and studying, so he knows everything. 
I mean, yeah, he's a bit of a wuss, but who cares when he's a genius? You seem very proud. Yeah, I am. But don't spread that around, okay? Sophie, I know it's dark and kind of scary, but you don't need to worry, okay? I'll protect you. Protect me? What's that noise? Something's there. Hey, what's the big idea scaring us like that? All right, buddy. Time to play. Hostiles! I'm Take that! Eat this! Victory is ours! See? With a team like ours, monsters don't stand a chance. I'm... On your team? Yeah, of course you are. We need you, Richard. You... You're not mad at me? But I insulted you. Richard, it's fine. Seriously, I'd already forgotten about it. Thank you. Come on. We need to hurry if we're gonna reach the top. I see that Aspel isn't the only one growing accustomed to combat. Richard, are you happy when Aspel smiles? Hmm? Well, I don't have a problem with smiling, but where did that come from? So it makes you happy? I haven't really thought about it. Aspel was making a sad face earlier. And you would rather see him happy? I don't know. It's difficult for me to say for sure, but I think so. Asbel and I are very similar, but I suspect the way we think about things is very different. Hmm? Let's leave it at that. Right now, we should return to the meadow. Let's use these roots to get back up the cliff. Here, I'll pull you up. All right, Richard, you're the next one up. What are you waiting for? Here, come on, take my hand. 
Right. Yes, all right, we did it. We made it back. It's amazing what friends can do when they work together. I'm really glad that both of you guys were here. Friends? Yeah, of course. We're all friends now, Richard. Oh, I see. Asbel, am I your friend too? Yeah, of course you are. What is a friend supposed to do? A friend helps you out when you're in trouble. You laugh together when you're happy. Oh, come on now, tell me the honest truth. Have you forgotten what it's like to have friends? I don't know. I know. I've got a great idea. Let's use this tree to make a friendship pact. Friendship pact? It's a tradition in our town. If you carve your name in a tree and then join hands, they say your friendship will last forever. Your turn, Sophie. But I don't know how to write it. Oh, yeah. Well, then we'll do it together. Come on, come on over here. Sophie. There. Awesome, see? There you go. Okay, now everyone put your hand in. From now on, no matter what happens... The three of us will always be friends. We will always be friends. All right, now our friendship can never be broken. Hey, look! Sun's coming up. Wow. I'll remember this view and this day for the rest of my life. Master Asbel! Are you there? Master Richard! Master Richard! Such a familiar word, yet this is the first time I really understand what it means. What are you thinking about? I was pondering the meaning of friendship. Ha! It's like I said, you help each other out when you're in trouble. You laugh together when you're happy. Wait, I get it. You've never had a friend before, have you? That's not true. Look, it's okay. Sophie didn't have any friends before me either. And just because we made a pact doesn't mean you can't have other friends. You should friend it up with everyone you meet when you get back to the capital. I think... Yes, I would like that. You know... You can make a friendship pact near any tree you want. So why did we use this tree for ours? I heard some grown-ups talking once. They said if you use a tree nobody knows about, the friendship will last a really long time. But how come? 
I don't know. But I hope you and me and Richard can be friends forever. Even after we grow up. What about Hubert and Sharia? We grew up together. We don't need one. having amnesia? I don't know. I haven't experienced anything like fear. Wow, you're really something. My heart was racing just from having to face that Bryce guy. Was it scary? No way! Well, a little. I guess I didn't know how hard it would be to fight someone. Then why did you choose to fight? Well... Richard just looked so miserable, you know? I, I thought I might be able to help him out. You sure are strong. Strong? How so? You have disobeyed me for the last time. Lord Aston, please do not be angry with Asbel. He saved my life. Respectfully, Your Highness, your life was in danger only because he spirited you away. This is untrue, Lord Aston. I asked your son to show me the town. If there is blame to be assigned for our actions, it belongs to me alone. Richard. As you wish, Your Highness. I will forgive Asbel's role in the threat on your life. I am grateful, Lord Aston. But this is not over, Asbel. I told you to avoid Launt Hill, and you disobeyed me. And worse, you made Hubert and Sherry a lie to shield you. The search party was delayed for hours as a direct result of your actions. I, uh... um... 
You are confined to your room until further notice. Fine. I'm sorry, Asbel. I tried. That's okay. Who knows what he would have done if he hadn't said anything. Thanks, Richard. I fear I have more news, Prince Richard. While you were out, we received an urgent message. Your father, the king, has taken ill. You have been ordered back to the capital without delay. My father is sick? I'm afraid so. You should prepare to depart at once. As we cannot allow Bryce to remain unguarded, I will escort you back myself. I... I understand. Hubert. Yes, Dad? You will join us as well. You're taking me to the capital? Why does he get to go? Because you are confined to your room, or are you so thick-skulled that you've already forgotten? <laughs> Hubert gets all the fun. I'm sorry, Asbel. Don't worry, little brother. Have a good time, okay? Oh, okay. I'll buy you a bunch of souvenirs. He gets a vacation and I get punished. Just great. It might take a little while, but I'll come back to Lant someday. If you're ever in the capital, you should come see me. I'll show you around the castle. Oh, I'm definitely there. Wait, here. It's not a reward. I'm just lending it to you. When you visit the castle, show this to the guards. They'll let me know you've arrived. Gotcha. In that case, I'll hang on to it. I wish I had more time here, but I have to go. Okay, I'll see you around. No tears, my wife. This is in Hubert's best interest. I know, it's just... Hey, Hubert, take this with you. What is it? It's a good luck charm. It'll keep you from being scared, even when I'm not around. Hey, I don't get scared. That's enough, Hubert. We must be off. Okay. Farewell, Lord Aston, young Master Hubert. Goodbye, my son. See you, Richard. So long, Hubert. Buy me something really cool, okay? Forgive me, Master Asbel, but... Yeah, I know. Back to my room. If Dad thinks I'm gonna stay in here, he's crazy. No door can hold me back. I'll just tweak this wire here. And turn it like this. And... Still locked. Well, crap. I really wanted to see the Capitol. I might have been able to find someone who knows about Sophie. You called us, though? Uh, Sophie? What are you doing out there? Asbel, what's the capital? Uh, well, the capital is the biggest city in the whole kingdom. There's lots of people there, so I thought one of them might recognize you. That's why I want to go, but... I want to go, too. Oh? Well, all right, then. Let's sneak out of here and go together. Quick, open the door. It won't open. Damn! Now what? Asbel, move away from the door. Huh? Uh, okay. Yeah. Holy cow! It's open. It didn't open, you broke it down. Well, whatever. But we'd better go, the whole manor probably heard that. Okay.